Namaste everyone. Welcome to Movement and Miracles. My name is Megan Campbell and I am so excited for today's topic, signs and understanding the language of the universe. I have been relying on this tool very heavily in the last few months as I've been making my big transitions and my spiritual teachings and offerings. And I wanted to share it with you because I have kind of dropped little teachings about it here or there, talked about it in trainings and retreats, and had a lot of curiosity and a lot of questions. And so I thought, what better to topic to start this channel off with? So um, you might see Lola. She wanted it on the action, too. <laughs> So, um, signs, yeah. So when I first decided that I wanted to uh, change direction and you know jump out of the spiritual closet a little bit, which sounds kind of crazy because everyone thinks of me as spiritual already, but I've actually been holding back quite a bit and uh, I feel like the time is right and I feel like the teacher is ready, the students will come, the course says, and the students are coming. And so it's time for me to step more fully into this path and offer all that I have into the world. And so I decided about this uh, path and that I was gonna make this transition. And this is really the best time to rely on this tool, asking for signs and listening for the language of the universe. Is anytime we're going through a big transition or we feel some doubt or fear, whether big or small, um, this is kind of when you want to reach for this tool. So my first tip is to uh, get into somewhere like nature. So I walk Lola every day and I leave my phone at home and it's totally quiet. Uh, we're really usually the only ones there. And this is where I get my greatest sources of inspired hits, I call them, or downloads um, or inner guidance. And so I asked for a name. I said, you know, like I really need help. What is this? message what am I trying to put out there what do you want me to put out there what would you have me do what would you have me call it and by the end of the walk I had movement and miracles and I was like yes this is amazing I love it I can feel it it feels right in my heart feels right in my soul this was a message this was a gift but to be very sure I went home and I sat on my meditation cushion and I again just opened up to the universe and I said listen is this the name? Is this what you want from me? Is this the name that you would have me start to uh, call things like this TV channel and like uh, our Movement of Miracle master classes that are coming up? So obviously the answer was yes, but how did I know? Well, I asked the universe for a sign. I just said, show me if you would have me uh, call things Movement of Miracles, if this is the path you want me to go. And I got up from my meditation that morning and I went down to my couch and I started writing my morning pages. And the next thing you know, I look over and I hear this raucous happening on my patio. And it is three, not one, not two, but three blue jays sitting on a very old potted plant that I have and I definitely need to throw out soon. And they were just having a really rambunctious conversation with each other. And how did I know this was a sign? Well, because I've literally, in all the time, years that I've lived in my apartment, never ever seen one blue jay, let alone three. So I immediately Googled symbolism of blue jays and found that they represent the blue on blue, especially in Native American traditions, uh, the purity of the soul and clarity of the mind and your purpose. And so I knew, I was like, okay, movement and miracles it is. I'm feeling it, let's go with it. I love it. And the universe said yes, 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 three times. And so here we are, here we are today. And now we have to understand that the language of the universe comes like this. Anytime we ask for a sign, it will show it to us. A lot of times it comes in numbers. We've heard this before. This is another big sign I've been getting, especially in the last couple of weeks. It seems that every time I look at the clock, it is either 1111 or 111. And the more ones you have, the more powerful it is. But again, it's really the manifestation of dreams and desires. And here it is. I feel very aligned with my truth, with my passions. I'm super excited about everything that's coming up. And every time I look at the clock, there they are. It's, you know, gets weird sometimes when it happens all the time. But this is just constant confirmation and affirmation that you're aligning with your truth and your purpose. 
And what I suggest is when you start, which is what I did, I, um, before I kind of learned all about how these signs and symbols show up even more potently and Googled and, you know, listened to talks with Gabrielle Bernstein and Wayne Dyer and things like that, um, what I was doing was asking for very specific signs. And I still do this sometimes, especially with actually with really big questions, like really like up, down, left or right, I am confused, help me, I need a sign. I will ask for something very specific. So I've asked for owls, I've asked for snakes, I've asked for a hawk, uh, I've asked for yellow cars, <laughs> just anything that I could think of that literally just snaps into my head, it just pops in, and that's what I ask for. And I always ask in a very specific time frame too, show me this by the end of the day today. By the time I go to bed, I wanna see this sign, I wanna see this hawk, I wanna see this snake, and then I'll know what to do, whether you say, you know, should I continue in this job uh, for another year? Show me a sign of a hawk by the end of the day today if you want me to stay in this job. If I have more to learn and grow and cultivate in my life from this experience, show me a hawk. Or if you do not want me to stay in this job, so it works both ways. Uh, and then the most important part though of all of this is follow through. So the, the, whatever the sign is, you need to respect it. If the universe is saying no, you know, it's time to let that relationship or job go, it's not the right name, it's not the right time, and then you honor that because the more you work in alignment with the universal energies, whether they're showing you the signs or not, they're always in their job doing the, its work, being within its energy you need to respect it. And the more that you do that, the more it's gonna align with you. And I've had very much um, and a lot of proof of that in the last few months for sure. So you have asking for the sign, get really, really clear, highly suggest that at the start. Make sure that you give yourself some space in nature and offline every single day, whether it's meditation, going for quiet walks, sitting by, a lake or the ocean uh, to receive those downloads, to receive the messages, to receive the inner guidance, and also just paying really close attention. Stay really awake and aware to what the universe is throwing at you to tell you, and it will throw at you like those three blue jays. Now, if I'd been making coffee or something like that and I hadn't have seen them, then it would have given it to me in another way. It won't give up. It wants you to know. It wants you to know what it wants you to do. It wants to be in line with you. It's craving being in line with you. And so the more we surrender a little bit of our own ego and power over to that, the more signs that we get and the more aligned we become with our purpose and our truth. And it is a pretty incredible experience. So if you've ever done this or you have any questions or you have some really cool like sign moments, I'd love to hear them. You can post them below this uh, video and in the comments and I'm happy to respond to questions as well. And I hope that you can check out megancampbell.ca and see all the amazing new movement and miracle master classes and trainings and events that are coming up very soon in our community and um, maybe online in the future. <laughs> uh, and I just am so excited to be here talking about these beautiful little miracle moments and how we can become more in line with our truth and our purpose and our passions every single day. And I hope that you enjoyed this very much like I did. And I will see you next week. Namaste.